I am about to remove the entire end. And in the process, kill everyone. See, since the beginning of the server, everyone has wanted me and my friend Maypick dead for no reason. There's six people on me right now. When we tried to make peace, we were killed, killed, and killed. Until finally, we had had enough. In exactly 10 days, the end would unlock and everyone planned to enter at the exact same time, presenting us with the perfect opportunity to eradicate all of the evil we had experienced by killing every single player on the server. And with the end completely gone, all we would have to do was hit them into the void with our knockback swords. So we started by building a hidden creeper farm with thousands of blocks from spawn. Since the end island consisted of millions of blocks, just TNT wouldn't cut it. We would need to use TNT dupers, able to create infinite explosives and destroy areas in record time. Soon, the gunpowder farm was completed and I started to AFK. But before long, people began to notice my long hours on the server, and grew suspicious that I was up to something. Since our main advantage came from the knockback on our swords, we were banking on the facts that nobody would get such a niche enchantment. If even a single person found out what we were doing, they could easily get knocked back as well and completely foil our plans. But since gunpowder was essential to the project, I shrugged it off and continued to AFK overnight. And after gathering enough gunpowder for the entire project, it was time to move on to the slime farm. Before we head up, by the way, here's four hearts that I got. How did you get more hearts? <laughs> Basically, the other day I got this like really weird and mysterious DM from an anonymous lifesteal member. And I had like cords to this room. I figured it'd be a trap, but I went anyway just because I was curious. I ended up being a chest with like eight hearts in it. I think someone's messing with us because like obviously the only way to get hearts is by like killing people, so they're pretty precious. And I know no one on the server has that kind of goodwill. Like everyone wants us dead, so I feel like someone's messing with us. Before long, however, the slime farm was completed. And after a couple more days of AFKing, we had all the slime we would need. The last thing required to build TNT dupers was coral, found in one of the rarest biomes in Minecraft. Knowing I was in for several hours of searching, I went live on Twitch and began to explore. But the server's suspicion was still growing. Throughout the stream, players would come in and out of chat asking what I was looking for. And although I didn't reveal anything, the server was now taking action to uncover and stop our plan. Worried I had shown too much, I shut off the stream and continued the search offline. And finally, after two full days of searching, I had found coral reef. With all the materials finally assembled, I began testing out designs to see which would suit our needs best. But to my surprise, none of them worked. After sifting through a couple reddit posts, I discovered the TNT dupers were disabled on the server. Immediately, I messaged the server admin about enabling them, but to our dismay, they were on vacation, meaning we had no idea when or if at all be able to use dupers. The next day, I woke up to a message from Mapix saying that our base had been found by a player by the name of Vitalicy, who had literally killed us eight times. Luckily, I kept all of the materials to make TNT dupers in my ender chest, but it was clear that everyone on the server still wished us harm. For some reason, however, our base was left untouched. Still, I knew that it wouldn't be safe to return anytime soon, so I took what I needed and began building a sheep farm. Since we had no idea if TNT dupers would be enabled, we would need to take a different approach. The idea was to use beds to manually blow up the end, but with four days remaining, we were cutting it close. And after a full day of building and AFKing, we had a decent amount of wool and wood. But once we entered the end, there was no turning back. See, since we needed the dragon alive when everyone entered the end to prevent them from escaping, there was no way for us to return to the overworld and get more resources. So we filled our inventories and ender chests with everything we would need for the next three and a half days and head it over. I am so ready! We also gotta make sure that everyone's offline like the moment we enter. If people see us get the end achievement, like they'll find out our plan in no time. But, oh, it's right here. Hey, how are we gonna get people to leave? Hey, did y'all see that he changed the server title icon thing? <laughs> and they'd all get off at the same time. Nobody's gonna go look. Oh, Terry's in the one person. <laughs> that is way too obvious. <laughs> hey, no way, no way, no way, no way, bro. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Dude, do not- Go, 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 go. Oh, actually- Go, 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 go. Oh my god. We <laughs> you're all off. That actually works. No shot that works. <laughs> Dude, let's get to work. What the heck? We've done a lot though, haven't we? If you don't look at the rest of the island, we've done a lot. But as night gave way to the early hours of the morning... I'm gonna hop off. I'm so sorry, Roshan. Right. Oh, good. No. Bye, my big. Alright, it's like 2 a.m. I'm out of wood. I'm out of wool. We are maybe... 1 20th done with the whole thing. 
There's just no way this is fast enough. We basically need dupers at this point, but obviously we can't get those till server admin can log on, so I'm gonna go to bed for now, I guess. Um, there's not much I can do at this point. That night, however, I received another message from the mysterious heart donor asking how many hearts I had. I knew that everyone wanted us dead, and the donor's intentions could not be good, so I decided not to give them any information. But then, I received one more cryptic message from the donor. They had a plan. When I logged on the next morning, there was still no response from the admin. Out of wood, wool, and options, all I could do was wait. But just as all hope seemed lost, we're back in business! The Lonesome Dung Eater. <laughs> what? <laughs> How have I still not found the loose and done you this corporeal form? <laughs> I found the void. Do you want me to save you? Yeah, I logged off, but you might be able to place water. If you die in the void while everyone's online, dude, they're gonna be so suspicious, bro. They're gonna know exactly our plan. I don't have any time to react. If we're wrong, I'm dead. Here? Yeah, probably. I might want to log in real quick if you want to look down. Should I do I it? I get a good angle. Okay, yeah. Alright. You are just not even close. I'm dead. That's where I logged. It's doable. 69.92, you see, you really think so? I, I don't know, I'm skeptical. It's this one right here. 69.92, there it is. We're probably gonna need a cover story if you end up dying here. All right, water's down, I'm ready when you are. I'm doing it. No, you're done. I'm dead. Shoot. Okay, I told Don that I died in my own trap and that I was making a uh, like really big build that had a, a void aspect to it. Although our cover story had delayed the discovery of our plan, Mapix's death had put the entire server on high alert. It was only a matter of time before our project was uncovered. But with time running out before the end opened and the entire server hot on our trail, it was left up to me to finish the job. I just finished another one of these. With every machine I make, I have to dig so deep into my soul to gather the strength to like go on and build another one. Oh my god. It is 4 a.m. It is incredibly late. I've just finished the last machine, and thank god I did. But the next morning, I ran into a massive issue. I was running out of food. And with Mapic unable to log on for the day, I had nobody I trusted to get it to me. Initially, Mapic told me to contact a player named Terrain, who was a past ally of his. But I was opposed. How could we trust anyone when the entire server wanted us dead? Soon, however, I was out of food and out of options. If I wanted to finish the project, I would have to take the risk. So I messaged Terrain and told him to drop a couple stacks of golden carrots through the end port. And as I headed over to receive the food, my heart raced. Terrain could easily hit me into the void with just one click. In a couple moments, I would either have stacks upon stacks of food, or be dead in the void with our project in shambles. Astonished, I cleared the last few pieces of endstone. But as I was finishing up, I received a message from Vitality, the same player who had killed us eight times and tracked down our base. Can we meet up? I know you're up to something. Had the server finally discovered our plans? Even if so, there was nothing we could do now. So I ignored the message and hoped for the best. The end fight was upon us. But before everyone came rushing through the end portal, I want to mention that I'm trying to reach 400,000 subscribers by the end of summer. And we are cutting it really close. So for every one of you who subscribes on this video, I'll add one TNT to the stack and blow it all up on the deadline. Last time, you all made me blow up 31,388 TNT, which wasn't quite enough to crash my PC. But let's make things different this time. It's literally free to subscribe and only provides you with more fire content just like this. The next morning, Maypick returned to the end fully geared and prepared to fight. When about an hour before the end was set to open, I received one final message from the mysterious donor. If you're fighting in the end fight, don't kill me. I'm gonna betray my team. Why would the donor help us? Who even was the donor? 
questions shot through my head, but there was no time to process them. With the end about to open, we took our positions and prepared to fight. In exactly seven minutes, the entire server is gonna come charging through that portal, and all of our work, the sleepless nights, the sacrifices, the countless hours of grinding are all gonna have been worth it. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Literally, the circumstances ensure that we either win this 2v13 we're about to go up against and kill literally everyone, or we die trying. And either way, this will go down as one of, if not the greatest project of all of Lifesteal history. I think it is. Look at that. Look out there. That's ridiculous. That is actually insane. So who are we nominating to go through? <laughs> I volunteer as tribute! Ah! They just went through, they're through. What the f no. Don't go in, don't go in. There is no end island. The end island what? doesn't exist. What? What? The end what? island is entirely what? destroyed. The entire what? end is gone. Oh, they're bridging, they're bridging. I see them, I see them. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, here we go. They're on the towers with bows. I'm about to do something batch stupid. Subs pearl, subs pearl, subs pearl. Someone else pearl. They're all pearling, dude. The entire server hates them. They're gonna right, die. Yeah. They're not leaving the end alive. Throw a pearl up, throw a pearl down, and then you'll land back here. I'm doing it. Yeah, do it. No. Nice, nice, nice! I knocked nice. Vortex, I knocked Vortex! Oh, they hit the dragon. They're hitting the dragon. Let's go! The server was closing in on us and the dragon was slain. Saying, They're gonna them. jump down to us. At this rate, we would be dead in a few minutes. Right. We're probably gonna be dead soon. But out of nowhere, Vitality, the same player who had killed us eight times, instructed me to join his call. I'm about to jump through. Do you guys still want me to betray or not? Wait, you're the heart donor? All along, Vitality had only wanted to help. He had only killed us in order to trick his team into thinking that he was loyal, immediately giving back the eight hearts he had gained from our death. What do they think they could both do against everyone? here not really much i say we can easily kill them but how seeds now or never they're plotting on us all right go 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 yes 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 i have like a step no planet go 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 go, go. Knock, 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 yes knock. yes yes should we pro down should we just send it let's do it send it this is it i'm not getting out i'm peggy dead. he's there he's there <gasps> you're getting hit from both sides i see that i'm up get out 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 rochambeau i'm getting out i'm trying at least help 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 i'm dead rose dead rose almost dead i can't help you I'm pearling. What's up? Holy sh! I'm the best player. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Uh, Subs isn't dead. Subs is alive. Oh my god. I knocked Pengi. He's right there. Oh, mid's here. Mid's hey here. Mid's here. Where are you? Where are you? We can kill yeah. mid here. All right, I'm coming. I hit mid off. We're gonna win this. Good. We could actually do this. They're One. above us. They're above us. Oh, TNT. TNT. Careful. Careful. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going up. What's up, dudes? Hey guys. Should I go up too? Jump over. They're so distracted. I'm coming up. I'm dead. He has oh cards. my he has god! Cards. Get him on the blocks. You're hitting me, you're hitting me. He's gonna minecart. He's gonna minecart. He can't minecart if he's dead. Knock subs. Ooh. Red fell. Red's dead. Red died. No! Are you dead? Yes. Bro, we just won. We rolled them. <laughs> dude, bro, we just won, dude. No, dude, we just won a 2v13. All of our work, dude. But as we prepared to leave the end once and for all, we spotted two bystanders attempting to make an escape. Jaren and Ash are asking if we'll spare them. I looked back on why we started this whole project. We were two innocent players who had been killed for no reason at all. And here I was, about to start it all over again. But if I'd learned anything from the past 10 days, it was that maybe not everyone was so bad after all. Honestly, we've gotten so many kills today, we should just let them go home.